Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, my peeps on Facebook, my subscribers on YouTube, and all the MLB fans around the world. It is the DOUG here for his World Series pick. Now, my baseball picks this year for the playoffs have been bad. Very bad. Um, unlike last year, or last year I was able to somewhat predict correctly and at least got one of the winners in the title game. This year, however, that has not been the case since the Giants and the Warriors both got hot at the right moment and pretty much screwed everybody. Because if anybody says they six they had Warriors versus the Giants, you're a fucking liar. Period. Um, but just to give a little history of this, uh, the Warriors will have home field advantage for the series as a result of the American League's 5-3 victory in the All-Star game at Target Field on July 15th. The Warriors swept a three-game series with the Giants in Kansas City from August 8th to 10th, winning 4-2, 5-0, and 7-4 respectively. And this is just the second World Series in history to pit two wildcard teams against one another, with the other time being in 2002 World Series between the Giants and the Angels. It is the first World Series to involve a team, let alone two, that played in the additional wildcard game instituted in 2012. Also, the World Series winning team is guaranteed to start with to set the record for most postseason victories in a single postseason with 12. Additionally, this is the first World Series where both teams played in a playing game, whether it's the wild card game since 2012 or a tiebreaker from 95 to 2011, since the divisional series was added in 95. It will be the fifth postseason meeting between a California team and a Missouri team. Now, all of these will be on Fox. Um, like I said, Warriors have the home field advantage. Here is how the schedule works. On Tuesday, it will be Game 1. Um, Mr. Shields will be pitching for Kansas City, and Madison B. will be pitching for the Giants. Game 2 will be Wednesday night, so unfortunately, guess what, guys? There will be no Hell's Kitchen. Fuck you on that one, because I like watching Hell's Kitchen more. Uh, Kansas City picture of that game would be Yodo Vitera taking on Jake Pevy. And then a game three will be on Friday in San Francisco. Kansas City has not announced their pitcher. Tim Henson will be starting for Kansas City. I mean, yeah. San Francisco and game four. Ryan will start for the Giants and to be announced will be has not been announced yet for Kansas City, so we don't know. Now the Wood Series will start on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday like previous years, like I just said. This will Avoid a game on Thursday, generating a big day of TV viewing with the World Series. Would face off, would face stiff competition from Thursday Night Football and ESPN College Football. Just as a note, remember the Thursday game is San Diego versus Denver, so that probably a good decision. And various other primetime time minutes. The change also means that the series only has to compete with the NFL on one of the most on the mo at the most one night Sunday instead of three Thursday Sunday and Monday so yep I mean Sunday if there is a game five guess what it's gonna it's probably gonna get killed in the ratings um Fox will televise the series all of it so in better words if it does not end by Sunday no Simpsons no Brooklyn Nine-Nine no new family guy none of that just keep that in mind people who would DVR or watch it. Um, so yeah, there's all the things you need to know for that. And now, to take a look back, um, Kansas City, who has not been to the World Series since 85, um, the other parents was in 1980, people forget that, where they lost to the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, they pretty much defeated the Oakland A's in the Wild Card game, swept the Angels, and swept my Orioles. As for the Giants, they beat the Pirates, then defeated the Nationals three games to one, and then defeated the Cardinals four to one. With that being said, I, as much as I hate doing this, I gotta take the Orioles on this one. Um, they just haven't lost a playoff game yet, and I don't think that's gonna happen here. I'm going to take the Royals and four. I'm probably all gunning that, but hmm, I'll take Kansas City. I told you the problem is, and I'm going to be honest here, you know, I just made my pick. I would not be watching any of the World Series this year. This would be the only, I think, fifth time in my life I will have not watched the World Series at all. And that's only because of this. I really don't care about either team. 
You know, the last time I did this was, well, ironically, in 2002, so that should tell you something. I, I'm not a fan of the Giants, you know, I'm an Oilers fan, so, yeah. I don't really give a crap about who wins this, to be honest. So as for the Warriors, it's a nice Cinderella story, but what makes me upset, and I had to blame ESPN on this one, everybody wanted to favor the Warriors as the underdog because they haven't been to the World Series since 85. Well, if you think about it, the bottom Warriors haven't been in since 83, but yet no one gave them underdog status, so hypocrites. 101, folks, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm taking the Kansas City Royals. If you're going to watch the World Series, hey, enjoy. If you're not, just meet me on PSN. That's all I got to say. Go Royals, and I'll see you for week 8 tomorrow, where we'll have more fun. I'll be more energized, because I'll actually give a shit about the games. Till then, this is the DOUG signing off.